Hi, I'm Rob. You know me as our BAM guy, and I make people better. That's what I do. And I wanted to welcome you to Future Golf Instruction. If you don't know it, modern golf instruction and alternative golf instruction is a conceptual framework, which means that you can't correlate what you're doing with your body and the golf swing. That means you're going to struggle. And one of the things that they have been doing for about 120 years is put the thumb on the shaft. So today I'm going to talk about the golf grip that I did and been doing for a while. And the guy you see, Hans, on YouTube, he's doing this. What I've been, you know, when I was swinging and such and playing golf and didn't think much about it. At some point, you go like, hey, what's going on? Uh, why does it feel weird? So what I did was yeah, basically do what we've been doing for millions of years as human beings. When we grip something, you know, baseball bat, tennis racket, sledgehammer, hammer, we kind of wrap our thumb around that, right? Here's the thing, it doesn't matter really. I'm gonna remove the glove for visibility bit here. So if I hold the grip like this with the thumb on the shaft, and I just move it, the thumb, like that, the same three fingers that you have in normally for support is still gonna be there. And once I move my thumb around the shaft like that, I just take my right hand and fold that in, the thumb into that, like that. And I use two fingers on the shaft, and I use two fingers as a double overlap. That's what I do. And as everything we do, when you do something for the first time, it's gonna feel weird, strange, awkward, and maybe even feel wrong. But like everything we do, once you're done it for a week or two, it feels normal. Now, what happens in the modern golf grip is that the, since the hand wants to do this through impact, it wants to turn over. And you can see that down the line for a lot of two pros when they come through with driver, the right arm and elbow start to go like that and they move their arms away from the body because they don't know why, you know. Which means that they start talking about, like Tiger Woods does with um, educating his hands, how to feel that and all that stuff. And that's all that, the thumb on the shafts, now you need to fix the problem because that, that this creates a problem and they don't know that. So once I grip my club around the shaft, have my thumb on the shaft, put there, and then I do my, you know, chips or whatever I wanna do, swings or such, it's gonna work the same way like everything else does. For some of you it might feel a bit looser. And many of you may have heard about the Pat Hogan quote about if I had free right arm, I would hit me even longer. And that's not really how it works in the golf school because we're doing a vector or leverage pulling action and extension. So when we're going down here, that's gonna be a pull action. It's not gonna be a push action for it. Right? And it makes sense to use your right arm if you have to do a push action. But if you do a leverage action, it doesn't make sense. So that's how I do my grip. Wrap around the thumb, put it over here, get used to it. And then you have to use thicker grips. Uh, I haven't changed this grip yet. I forgot, I didn't buy enough last time last year. I bought this. It's a thicker grip, this is a jumper size actually. And this fits my hand much better than this one. This is a little bit thinner. And you have to experiment on your own. Uh, try different sizes, maybe the tape under and all the stuff. Wraps, uh, you know, it may need more wraps around it and all the stuff. But basically find a way to, you know, because of how you build and all that stuff, to get that. Because the left hand, hand and arm, you know, is what, keep things going anyway. So it's not, you know, it's totally understandable, right? That the modern golf instructor went wrong somewhere. Because everybody who learned golf, they go to PGA, they learn what PGA is teaching them, put the thumb on the shaft, everybody's doing that as a two pro, so people go, yeah, that must be the way to hold the golf club. And if someone is doing something different like I am here and teaching people, why would you want to do this? 
because this allows you to do something that you can't do with the modern golf grip. With the modern golf grip, you put the thumb in the shaft, the hand wants to do that, right? My grip allows your hand to release like that. It just extends. It just extends. You don't need to manipulate that in the downswing. Because with the thumb on the shaft, you have to start to extend your hand, extend your hand and arm to fix that. And then you have to start bowing your wrist, which is called the hell of release. Can you imagine that? You're a two pro like Bruce Koepka, Tiger Woods, you're a spike, you know. And then you don't understand this creates a problem that you need to fix. And if you want to have a natural release, you use my grip because that allows you to all this extension happens naturally without you know manipulation or such. It's a natural release. And I hit the tree. And this is a good thing when you're hit in the backyard because you don't want to hit it too far. So that's the grip. Nothing, uh, you know, there's no magic here. There's no secret. It's just that there is common sense here. My grip, natural grip, allows a natural release. Boom. If you put your thumb on the shaft, your wrist and such, anatomically wants to do that. Now you've got a problem. Because if you don't do this correctly, because this adds more timing, more coordination, and then you'll hook it. It creates a problem, and they don't know that. They've been teaching it for 120 years, you know, alongside the Warden days. So, Hans, you know, the guy you see in here, he's been doing this for a while now. It took, it took some time because he's not, you know, when he had his grip, uh, when they changed his grip for him, he made sure the tape in the under the grip, you know, around the shaft, was aligned in a specific angle. So when he gripped it, he felt it, you know, and he had the perfect grip and all stuff. And a couple of months ago, I asked him about his release, and I said, hey, do you, you use my grip now? And he's like, yeah. Uh, is the release much easier to do and uh, more efficient? And it kind of makes it, you know. And he's like, yeah. Now, how did I know that? because this allows you to have a natural release. Previously, he had to manipulate at more time and coordination in the, at the release. And if golf is already you know, difficult and you struggle with it, why would you use this shit people teach? I don't get it, all right? And in a few days, uh, this is the first, we had winter yesterday actually. It was really, really cold. And today we're going to have around 20 degrees Celsius. Tomorrow, two, and the next day around 20. Then we're going to drop around 40. But this is basically from winter to summer in one day. And it feels amazing to stand out there. I'm tired, but you know, when you have Amy, all that stuff. But at least you will understand this is what you need to do with the golf grip. That's what I teach. So, would I recommend the modern golf grip with the thumb on the shaft? Absolutely not. It's just stupid. Because if you hold the left hand like this and do that, that's what you do. That's normal when you wrap your head around that. If you just put your thumb on the shaft, it will feel limited. It teaches you limitation, but you lose power, you lose accuracy, because it uh, added timing, coordination, all that shit. And they haven't figured that out in 120 years. So with me, I'm, since I make people better, you get the future golf instruction that will change how you understand the golf swing because I can correlate this with the body. And you're gonna, I'm gonna release the takeaway, you know, or the backswing information in a video in a, I don't know when, but I'm probably gonna shoot it in the next few days because you know, the weather is very nice and hopefully it's not that much of a wind and you know, stuff like that. So that's something to look forward to. Anyway, um, is, this is the common sense. I don't do, uh, you know, guesswork. I don't do concept because concept doesn't work. Because you have to understand everything we do in life requires skills. But people have learned to think that you have to be a talented, you know, you have to have a magic gift from birth or something like that. It's not how it works. Everything we do is a skill. And if the instruction is given, is bad, which is this in golf, 
then you have to guess how to do it and because you don't have the skill because they can't teach us the skills and one of those skills I'm going to teach is uh, how you do a takeaway and uh, I can ask you this question what is the first thing you have to do in the takeaway I'm not going to say what it is you, you can figure that out or you know think about it what is the first thing we have to do in the takeaway for the backswing you know, the setting up okay what is the first thing I have to do from here most people have no idea. Golf instructor doesn't know that either, but usually. There might be some that figure it out in a way, but then they make it complicated anyway. So, anyway, hope you enjoy this. As I said, uh, I make people better. Uh, you know, that's what I do. Future golf.